everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Rap Resume. This is your host Tom Quig, thank you so much for joining me. We are here with, you know, a more minor addition to the channel here, but I really, really enjoy doing these. These are fan casts where, you know, we get people who are perhaps famous uh, acolytes of Battle Rap in some way, maybe in an administrative sense, maybe in a sort of, just more of a pure fandom kind of idea there. And we just chat general things, but before we get into that, please follow the show at Battle Rap Resume. We're on Patreon, of course, patreon.com forward slash Battle Rap Resume. We've got like 40 five people donating on there so thank you so much to everyone that is giving on there definitely go onto the channel and check it out you can get access to bonus episodes full battle resume episodes that go out there before average about five six hours of content will be put on there at any one time for you to listen to that isn't on the main channel so if you want to support the show go on there if you also want to support you can leave a review of us on itunes please subscribe to us on itunes on downcast on pocket Cast. just follow the show in any way you can also get at me battle resume at gmail.com comment below as well tag your questions uh hashtag ask brr if you want me to answer them check out those episodes as well i think there's two at the moment that's recording this might be some more on there but yeah go on the channel check out all the stuff but um very excited today. I'm joined by uh, quote unquote viewpoint royalty. Uh, ben, how's it going? <laughs> hey, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> it's it, it's weird, like because you know, um, I think, and because I'm so obsessed with people commenting on my videos, and I remember, I believe you're like an early fan of Battle Resume because you're, you're drill craving. Is that right? Yeah, that's there. The Twitter handle yeah. on the the old YouTube channel that's been deleted. Well, now what what was that? You were a YouTuber, were you? Or yeah, I made FIFA videos when I was like. 13, 14, but uh, I've just never changed the handle. So. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, FIFA YouTubers, it's such a sort of thing. It, like, I'm, I'm not really a FIFA player myself, but it seems like there's absolutely millions of them. Uh, it's kind of wet shit now, man. It used to be a lot better than like FIFA 12 and 13, but they all just make vlogs and stuff now. It's just it's not it's not as fun as it used to be. Right, 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 right. And it, it's weird because obviously I knew you as uh, as drill craving to a certain extent. Sort of put two and two together eventually. Um, but I, I'm sure like I like most people who who lurk on these forums know you. You you're an avid commenter. Yeah, uh, apparently I'm an argumentative be prick on forums, but right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> according to Mister Rex, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, let, let's go back to the start before we jump into that. So, I mean, battle rap. Uh, how, how did you discover it? Uh, well, I think the first time I saw a battle, I was maybe like eleven or something. It was in school, actually. Mm. Uh, you remember when uh, Eddie P and Frisco were on that BBC documentary? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, sh- they showed that in my school. So there was okay. a clip of uh, Eddie P and Frisco versus O'Shea and Innuendo in that. Mm. So that was the kind of first time I saw battling. And after I saw that, I went home and watched like. Uh, a couple of O'Shea battles and I was watching O'Shea and Lunar Sea for maybe a month or something and then I just stopped watching it and it wasn't until um, like Lunar and O'Shea battled and I saw it on YouTube that I started properly watching it mm-hmm. so I've only, I've not really been watching it for that long only about a year and a half two years properly really yeah I know that that's the thing I realise like I'm getting kind of old in the sense where i've been watching it for like five or six years and then you know it's similar to like souls round against c major when he's like you know all the people on top of all the people who look down it's like there are people who yeah. you know who've watched it much longer than me and you know all, all that other sort of sketch and sensor um but I, I, <laughs> I, I would i would have loved to i was thinking about it the other day i was saying that to friends I, I got into battle rap second year of uni i would have loved to have got into it at secondary school like i just you know what i mean i think it would have been a cool yeah. environment to watch it in well, you can't go to events, though, so... It's not true, as, true, just yeah. Okay. Funny to watch it online, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you can comment, as you know, as, yeah. as, you, as you are want to do. But, I mean, from from Luna O'Shea, was it just a case of just, you know, really just going through the archives, or...? Uh, well, I, I didn't really like the kind of... The bar-heavy guys at first. Like, I didn't really like Soul, and it wasn't until I saw Unanimous versus Villain that I started getting into that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But before that, it was mostly, like, Shuffle Team, Marlow, O'Shea, and stuff like that. Uh, but then I started watching Villain, and then I got into Soul, and now he's my favourite battler, and it's, yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff I like now, so. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, if you are a writing guy, as uh, as you say you are, and I, and I am definitely myself as well, you kind of inevitably end up with Soul as your favourite battler. Well, like, it's the best at the rating, isn't it? Yeah, or? yeah, there's kind of, it's kind of inevitable, like, there's nothing else you can sort of get around there. He, he, he is the yeah. absolute, you know, pinnacle, like, I know, I know, I think almost... Almost outside, it's almost kind of frustrating for me to a certain extent because Soul's so good that I kind of wish almost more people were aware of how good this guy's writing is. Uh, see, even on like the Reddit forums and stuff, and they put top five writers, and you've got like, I don't understand how people can think Charlie Jones is a better writer than Soul. No. Just no. Soul is so much better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, have you seen any of the Mass Free stuff? I've not got it yet. No, I've, oh. I've, 
I was kind of dubious about get because I, I, I don't get live PPVs anyway because my internet connection is not good enough. But yeah. is Jenga's worth buying? Have you seen them? I have. It's not worth buying. Um, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I was asking. It purely, YouTube, yeah, yeah. You just wait till it uh, till it comes out. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. There was because um, Chiller battled Ilmac, which is a yeah, match yeah. that three years ago would have had me salivating. But it's just his. I don't know. He he's he, he, it's so signposted his writing. Like there's no surprise, you know. He seemed to step up a little bit against Jonah you blackout, but I don't know, man. He's he's not as he's definitely not as good as he used to be. I mean, no. just be because the, the style is a bit more obvious now. Like when he was doing the scheme and stuff in like 2012, it was kind of new, but it's, it's old now. And so. mm, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, same way FIFA 12 was the golden era. <laughs> um, Chiller, you know, for, I was I was discussed it many times. Ago. I was one of the biggest Chiller stands ever. He was my guy. He was the greatest guy. You know, I remember we went. Me and my friend went to Sixth Birthday just as well, not just, but like we were going to see Chiller versus C Major, which was a yeah. bit disappointing. Really, wasn't 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 that good of a battle. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that good. But but yeah, no, I I agree. It is it is just a bit of a letdown, really. But Mass Free as a whole, I just read this online today. Have you heard about this old Nakaya controversy? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I've not, I, I've obviously not seen the battle, but I, yeah. I heard about what the line was. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want really to see a problem with it. Um, I mean, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult because I, I had Nakaya on to do the mass free preview, and he, and he obviously spoke about it as well. And you know, it's a terrible, awful situation with his daughter and stuff. And apparently, did you read the status where um, Nakaya's wife went up to Iron Solomon and like screamed at him? No, I didn't. I didn't see that. No, yeah, I, did, I saw yeah. the one that he posted on there. Uh, on Talkback, the King of the Dot forum, mm, but mm. yeah, I think I think it was in there. It was quite a long status, but he but he was talking about and I was I mean for those not listening, but uh, who haven't seen it, I should say, um, basically Nakaya, you know, awful situation where his daughter, he, you know, is very very ill, and Iron Solomon brought it up in the battle against Arsenal and said to Arsenal, kind of adopting that Arsenal, you know, aggressive stance. I wish that had happened to your daughter. Saying, Apparently, Nakaya's wife stormed out in tears, which I mean, you'd imagine rightly so. Uh, it's not, yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's pretty. Old. She's not a battler in any form. There's you know, there's no need to go there. And apparently Nakaya, you know, is sort of pulling out of kind of, you know, financing to a certain extent. I mean, it, it just happened yesterday, but every Battle League's going down, Ben. It's a nightmare. I know. All the, all the big, well, I suppose King of the Dog will still be all right, but yeah. this is only a second event this year or something. They get more events going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird, isn't it? The Don't Flop, when they were in full flow, had kind of their, you know, pocket events coming around the birthdays and stuff. But with, Don't, with King of the Dog, it is like they have the world doms and blackouts. They don't. They can't do like a sort of next in line, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's what was good about the bunker. They were doing it every month yeah. for like, really good events. But now it's what well, they've done, blackout, massacre, and that gas town one, that's it's kind of not that great. Yeah, we'll no. do well. So I kind of want to see that, but apart from that, they've got what well, they Rupert Common on the card, man. He is not very good, man. I um, it's funny you mentioned <laughs> Rupert. It's funny you mentioned Rupert Common. I've never, I've never watched him, but I'm actually going to watch one of his battles this afternoon, um, for a thing that I'm doing with Crafty. And I remember having Ogmios is it on. Is Apiola one? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Apiola one. And oh, it's um, really bad, man. Is it? <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> I saw the dislikes like today. I was like, oh god, it's really bad. It's a very possible the worst performance in a battle I've ever seen. Wow, and it's just terrible. Holy shit. Okay. Um, but I I remember Ogmios on his episode actually said that he really liked Rupert Common. He's <sighs> he's kind of like he's got the kind of Ogmios vibe to him, but mm. he's not he's not anywhere near as good. It's not like he doesn't. He's very political and okay. his, his delivery is really awkward. It's it's, it's like a he's it's, he's basically the oh, what's the word the slam poet type, but okay. not in a good way. Right, like the right. kind of guy who'd put his fist up in the middle of a battle and shout black power. This kind sure, of guy. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, just I know. it's just awkward to watch. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not not really looking forward to that. I should say the show we're doing, uh, it's a new show idea that I've got where basically we're going to just take the top the the foremost uploaded the foremost recent uploaded battles on Verse Tracker. So, you know, kind of a combating the amount of battles that are uploaded and we'll just review them whatever they are just to kind of dip in and see random battles. Oh, yeah, and, that sounds good. You know, um uh, we've got eight Yola Rupert Common. We've got two battles that I've never heard of from Leaf, one's from the Trap, one's from Oh, I can't remember the other one. But um, I've also got Mike P versus Jersey Twerk, which I actually haven't seen yet. Um, I need to watch that today. I've not seen it yet either. I mean, what, what, what is your URL fandom? Are you a watcher? or? Uh, I've watched the big battles, but I'm not a dedicated follower or anything. Mm. So you're not Some of the new guys go like chess and that. but Yeah, yeah, yeah chess, is, chess yeah. is decent. So you're not kind of following like... Um... Are you aware of Joe? Yeah, I've watched yeah. the... the, the... 
cereal, shaving with a cereal. Yeah, oh, yeah, hard, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you don't like that. Not really. Not really. No. (laughs) So yeah, I I get what you're saying. You kind of have to get on board for the mentality of it, and it is such a polar opposite to like it's like if it was music, it's different genres, isn't it? Don't flop and URL completely. Yeah, well, it's a lot more variety in Don't Flop. Mm. I don't know a guy who looks like looks like the Impractical Jokers sitting doing gun balls. I don't. I know I, I don't let that bother me, but I appreciate like a lot of people have commented that like he looks like the cable guy or something, or it's just yeah. like, you know I mean it's kind of transcending that, but but yeah no that, I mean I mean that's a fair comment and I mean wider tastes is it is it mainly don't flop King of the Dart or yeah well, mostly just UK it's not specifically mm. don't flop I watch it in for the UK but I don't know but I, I suppose I, I'm not really into URL because I don't get most of what they're saying sure i can understand them fine but i don't i don't get the references so it's mm-hmm. basically just listening to people saying things i don't understand yeah but i, 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 I watch the big battles just so i can talk about them but all than that yeah yeah you really need a sort of it. yeah yeah i agree you need the conversation points and like my uh, my complete knowledge of basketball has come from watching url battles but, <laughs> you know i'm not i don't dislike basketball i just don't watch it but you know players and shots and and terms pat riley who was the coach of the Heat in the 90s. I now know who he is. <laughs> he was apparently like the Alex Ferguson of American sports. So, you know, lo- lo- lots of learning opportunities there. But, I mean, you say you, say you follow UK. I mean, what, what, what's your opinions now? I mean, we'll get to Don't Flop in a second, but the UK scene as a whole, it's quite flourishing, isn't it? Yeah, apart from the Don't Flop situation, it's, it's kind of looking the hell. If it, that wasn't happening, it's the healthiest the UK mm. scene's been in a couple of years at That's least. True. That's true, yeah. True. I mean, even like the first half of this year, it was it was going really well. Yeah, that, that that's what was so painful about the demise of Don't Flop. Everyone acknowledged in like March, April time how bad it had been, even though it hadn't been that bad, but whatever, and how and how good it was getting. And but you kind of saw the cracks begin, or you know, into a certain extent. Like, because I, I went I went to Checkpoint Four, and it, it was a fantastic you know event. But I couldn't help thinking. God, I wish Shox vs. Soul was on the same stage that C Major vs. Soul was on. Eh, uh, yeah. You know, like, there was so much more people there. It's, it's a bit more of a combative kind of arena. Concrete's a bit weird. There was people behind them, weren't there? Probably couldn't even see it. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, there was just... It was, it was a small stage, yeah. So they just were kind of yeah. literally one person deep or something, but... Yeah, I mean, well, it, it was a good venue, like, just to enjoy ourselves in, but it kind of, I was thinking to myself when I was there, like, oh, what's wrong with Don't Flop? Shouldn't this really, like, I understand all oh, the prices of ministry and stuff, but there's a lot less people here than there was last year. Yeah. Well, it might have been proud, mind, and they had to switch it, like, three weeks out for mm-hmm. the event, mm-hmm. didn't they? Yeah, but that, that was Ur's decision. That wasn't like, you know, they weren't selling tickets or something. I think he, he said he didn't feel it was right or the, the, the vibe. All right, but... I thought, like, Proud didn't, I thought Proud, like, through an event in the place or something, they kicked him out. I thought that's what it was happening. Uh, mate, I mean, look, you're the king of viewpoint, as I say. So the the sort of the I, I'm getting that information for 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 Bauer on resume. Oh right, I may be completely wrong. <laughs> I might have just misremembered the conversation completely. I'm not <laughs> sure, but yeah. Re- I mean, regardless, I mean, you know, it, it, don't flop. What's your take on this whole thing? Obviously, it's multifaceted, but I don't, know, I don't really want to see an opinion on it. But I don't really know anything. All I know is what. Callum and Sam Strickland have put on Facebook, but I've not, or has not said anything. So it's basically going off one side of the story. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty strong side of the story to be fair. But it is, I it is, know. and yeah, I'm not sort of asking you for to sort of you know decide and and pass judgment, <laughs> but a, a, as a fan, it's quite an odd place to be in, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely would just say something. They've not even acknowledged that anything's happened. Well, don't flop and talk about. It. I haven't even acknowledged mm. that anything's happening. Um, if they would just say something like what's going on apparently there's legal proceedings and stuff so if they're not talking about it because of that but they could at least acknowledge that something's happening yeah 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 that's the thing because there's been certain words said where it's like does that mean that it's legal or is it just someone literally yeah. saying we're proceeding you know I, I get what you're saying there needs to be they were so on their game at certain elements where they would put out these, you know, videos or... I remember Ur putting out this video, like, three or four years ago of him, like, explaining upcoming matchups, And he was talking about, like, you know, him versus John John and Gemini versus Big T. And it was just, you know, having that influx of information. But now, yeah. the, guy's on, the guy's on Twitter, like, just, just put 140 characters, just dedicate that at least. <laughs> like... Just, you know, it's, it's all just, going to shit. It is. Sweet. It is. I mean, if it wasn't for Battle Rap Resume, I don't know what would happen. But may, maybe I may think worse. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I mean, um, why the UK stuff? 
like I want to start a campaign really, and I think we need to have this happen. If not the end of the year, then the start of the next year. We need a KOTR versus Dub Scandal card. I guess it, well, a lot of the battles are happening there already are. KOTR versus Dub Scandal. Who would you have on that? Ah, oh, it's a good question, really. I'm not really... I'm kind of more thinking just in terms of the leagues are successful. I'm not thought of, like, matchups distinctly. But I guess you could have, like, yeah. a, you know, um, I, I guess an Acre versus McKenzie would kind of but, but you know they're kind uh, of they're, they're, they're more brethren i suppose to a certain extent but, but that maverick would be v mckenzie would probably be a better match maverick v mckenzie would be really good yeah and maybe yeah. like um ah oh, i i, I want to see my guys lazy and bear in the roster they definitely i think yeah. i think they take some bodies for I, I i just i just i just want league on league battles i i just think they're exciting but then again mm. they've, they've tried to do it in the u.s they did like a team homie versus writers block card and it was really like biased judging so it's like the scrambles we don't flop one. I thought it ended up only being like one scrambles we yeah. don't flop out. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh... I was expecting like a full card, like a proper versus event, but it kind of kind of didn't really go that way, did it? No. Did Did you see any revival nine? Uh, no, I've not. I've not. I've only heard about it. I've not seen any of the battles yet. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I probably won't see them if they don't get released. That's the thing. That That's the weird thing. Um, but Jesus Christ, Gemini caught a body. All right, did they? I thought yeah. I heard it was pretty even. No, no, no. It's a, it's a clean, clean three nil. No question. All right, okay. Um, yeah, Raptor chokes pretty much every round and doesn't really have much to say. And Gemini just he does that kind of thing that Sol does as well. That flawless logic that you can't really argue with. Where yeah. he's just basically sort of saying like the people that Gemini beat that he left behind, like you know uh, the you know the dialects and the Yunans are the people that Raptor struggled with afterwards. And you can't deny that. Well. So- I mean, it's three years down the line, but it's still kind of the same. Gemini's in the same kind of place. Like he's still the up and comer who's undefeated. But Raptors kind of—he's went for the title. He's—he's he's pretty much lost every battle since Gemini. Yeah. So there's a lot more for Gem to say, I suppose. But yeah, mm, mm. yeah, it's a shame with Raptor, isn't it? It's just—it's—he's very clearly peaked. Yeah. Well, he's battling Koji on UKBL. Oh, is that Have going down? That? Oh, I didn't realise. Yes, yeah, I said a play. Bobby Rex pulled out, so he's the bloodline too. He's uh, in two weeks' time. He's battling Raptor and stuff. Shit, shit. I'm, I'm going to be there actually, so I didn't know that. I'm, I've tried to talk my brother into going down. Yeah, what, what, where are you? Where are you based? Clearly not the. Clearly not England. Uh, I'm just outside of Glasgow. Just outside. Of, yeah. What, what, why not, yeah. man? I mean, like, because you know, the events are so far and few between that it's got to make the most of it. Hmm. I'm 16 plus. So I'm going. To, I'm definitely going to try and get to the next in line because if that's the last don't flop event that's ever happening, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. then. And the, the experience one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. Next in line is going to be going to be crazy. I've um, oh man, yeah. I can't really let it. I'll, I'll sort of tell you after. <laughs> I can't. I, 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 <laughs> I know quite a bit about the card, and it is insane. It's a really, really good card. You know, they're definitely going to go out on a high here. But so, have you been to any events? I was at the Don't Flop Scotland one. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just the Don't Flop Scotland one. Oh man, what an event though that was. Yeah, so the, the reception for Soul in the Room, man, it was mental. It was, I genuinely hurt myself shouting. Yeah, I heard, I heard. I remember having him on the show afterwards and he was just talking about how everyone was coming up to him when he came in and he was a bit, you know, wasn't used to it, which is fair enough. But, yeah. the, you know, I mean, like, in terms of, like, in terms of Scottish out, like, exports, he's up there. Like, I know he's, I know he's minor, but in terms of, <laughs> in terms of talent, in terms of, like, putting on for his country, it's mad. I know we Scots are, are a pretty pathetic people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your number one export is a battle rap champion of a defunct league. <laughs> but I mean, talk to me about going to the event. What were your, were your expectations? What was the experience? Was it different to what you anticipated? Or I was expecting it to be a lot more uh, quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'd take a while. Apparently, I was apparently I was quite a quick one. It was like five and a half hours for the whole event, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was five battles. I didn't even get to see Respect B.A. versus Tony. I had to go out to take a phone call by the time I got back, it had started. Oh, no. I was. I couldn't even... I could hear Respect a little bit, but apart from that, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hear Tony at all and I couldn't see any of it. So, yeah, I basically just caught that one on the pay per view. Yeah, oh, well, oh, well, yeah. But, um, that, that, yeah, I mean, that's crazy, man. You definitely should try and get down to that um, UK B.A. Yeah. event as well. Yeah, that that would be interesting. And, I mean, um, talk to me about becoming a mod. Like you're a mod on viewpoint, okay, fair enough. As we say, Don't Flop's kind of in ruins right now, but <laughs> it's quite a big message board in the culture of battle rap. And you know, how did you get asked? It, it was just the the day Callum left, or maybe the, the day after, or just messaged me and asked if I wanted to do it because he's looking for. He said VP Modern's going gone to shit over the last few months, and he's just looking for regulars to do it. And he asked me, and then he asked if I had any 
recommendations for other people. And then the week later, uh, Briggsy, good friend of the show, right. messaged me. Uh, it just made me a mod. It's not really that. No, it's not no, really no. that interesting. <laughs> I saw it, to be honest. And I guess I'm kind of making it out as this great achievement, like an Academy Award. Or something. <laughs> like it's not. It's not really. But I mean. In terms of your your quote unquote duties, is that just pretty much deleting anyone that puts like fire emojis new battle alert? Basically, yeah, that and accepting and uh, rejecting people who apply to join the group. That's basically the entire the entire job. But, job. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, kind of, um, kind of, you know, sad in a certain sense that when you got that role, uh, you know, viewpoint, everyone seems to have deserted it for the UK battle rap group. Yeah, everybody's everybody's bounced now. Even Briggsy and all the staff have left. Yeah, and there's just—I mean, I mean, I'm looking at viewpoint now. There's not, there's literally no, there's no like actual posts about like don't flop or no one's actually sort of talking about it. Like, there's occasional like, mm. I mean, Danny Jack just posted a poll: Frankie Fraser versus Ben, uh, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, mostly sort of. And <laughs> there's the occasional me spamming battle at resume content on there. <laughs> but um, yeah, aside from that, yeah, nothing, nothing too much. I mean, um. Frankie versus Bender, who you got anyway? I don't know, I've been wanting to see that battle for like a year and a half. Mm. I don't know. It's, uh, Bender's really good, but he's not really good recently. Mm. For the last, well, recently, like three years. But I don't know. If, probably Frankie, to be honest. Probably, I don't, Frankie's obviously really wanted to battle Bender because he's Bender. and uh, I, Yeah, probably Frankie. It'll be close, man. Really want to see it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be good. I think both of these guys can suffer from being indirect and just being kind of, you know, flourish, yeah. flourishing their pen, which, which, which is obviously both to be marvelled at. But yeah, a great matchup and great to see Frankie getting his dues as well. Yeah, getting out last, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Have you seen the Have you seen the KoJ battle? Yeah. Uh, KoJ Frankie, I haven't actually. No. All right, it's, it's really good, man. For mm. twenty four hours prep battles, but one of the Definitely the most quotable one rounder uh, for this year, at least. Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, it's a shame that whole event again. Last word. It's like it's just at the time of this, you know, going out, recording it. None, yeah. of, it, none of it's been released. Oh, just Quill and Yunnan. But apart from that. Oh, Quill and Yunnan. That's right. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, what, what? What is that? What is that politics where they can release the one battle but no others? I don't really understand that. Well, Bobby's posted his battle on Facebook now I because saw it was, that, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, Mega released the other day and they didn't release it. Yeah, yeah, sure. which is, I mean, I mean, yeah, that that makes sense. I guess it's quite frustrating, and you know, for for some people like I don't know Harry Baker, for example, these are these are fantastic advertisements. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure yeah. I'm sure Clips doesn't really give a fuck to be honest that the battle's not coming out, regardless of whatever. But you know, and and um, have you seen any Checkpoint Four battles or? Yeah, I've seen them all. Seen yeah, you've all. seen them all. So I mean, what did you? As I say, I was there. So did you agree with the on beat decision? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm. I thought Press got it pretty clear. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, me too. And um, what else is there? Oh man, respect BA body serious. Yeah, it was, I thought it was closer the first time I watched it. To be honest, I, th- I was thinking like maybe two one respect, and then I rewatched it and realised how how clear it really was. <laughs> he just has that precision respect. Like he punches yeah. so cleanly. Like... Yeah, yeah. I'd say this was not very good, man. No. What, what was it? The... It some really really terrible stuff. I can't even remember what it was. Now it's just forgettable. But yeah, he had like a transparent yeah. bar as well, which is just yeah, like, it was like, just not good. No, no, very done. And like quite a lot of, I, I think he schemed off something. I want to say he did like a London scheme or a UK scheme or something like that. Liverpool, yeah. I remember him saying, or I, I can't really, I can't really recall that too much. But I mean, you know, it was it was it was a fun event. And where where's Don't Flop at the end of the year? Where do you see it? Dead, no. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, hopefully back to where it was at the start of the year, but I don't really see it happening, to be honest. I, I, as soon as R or Kruger or whatever makes some kind of statement, it'll be pro- hopefully clearer what's actually happening. Because we've got no idea if it's just people have left and they're just trying to get it back to where it was or if it's like properly fucked up. And I don't know. They need to wait, until, wait and see what they say before. Hmm. I don't know. It's not looking good just now, though, is it? No, 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 no. It's, it's. I mean, it, it, like, even if it comes back, the damage has already been done to a certain extent. Like, there's been yeah. so much dirty laundry aired, and, you know, 
it's pain. It's almost painful now going back and watching those early videos. Even do you remember the Don't Flop videos when it would just show you the staff at the front and you sort of see them all together, yeah. and it was just. And I remember them doing that video where they're like accidental entrepreneurs. It was like a mini documentary of Don't Flop, and it's just watch that hell on. Yeah, and it's just, <laughs> it's just. I, I don't know. Look, look. It, it what an unwieldy thing running a battle rap league is like. Yeah. Probably ten or fifteen people have done it in the world ever. You know what I mean? Suc- with uh, some success, and yeah. Urs arguably, you know, top three really. The crew's behind it, so there's no real precedent for going forward with it. But it's just, yeah, it's just. It, it certainly probably won't have Bagnall there, and you know, it, it's certainly not going to have Bamalan part of it. And these things do move on. You do get, you know, like with football, you get new squads. You can't just continually yeah. have the same players here and there. But there's an identity with it. But Writing wise, thankfully, Don't Flop is still continuing. It's just the storylines that are left hanging, really. Like, Shocks' his title defense, when's that going to happen? I know it's just stopped, isn't it? Sad for Shocks, man. Yeah. Wins the title and then the company falls apart. Well, we all know why it's fell apart, isn't it? It's just an, an elaborate scheme for Briggsy so that it doesn't make value. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> oh, my God. This. this uh, you know, what? I've seen Briggsy post. Someone posted, like, recently, like, oh, UKBL. And of course, he does, like, the money emoji, whatever, like that. Briggsy, yeah. how, much, how much do you want? Let me know how much you want. I'll raise the money and we'll battle. Like, it's not a, it's not a problem. Like, it's just, I, w- I like, it's going to be a vicious body. I, I want to clarify that. Like, it's I'm going to be very nasty. Like, I'm really going to break him down. Because he's never been broken down, Ben. I've watched pretty much all his battles in prep. No one really attacks Briggsy. Because you know what? They don't fucking care about battling Briggsy because it's Briggsy. <laughs> like, it's just it, what a waste of ink. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it really is like... It, it's just let's battle Briggsy. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? With Don't Flop in the toilet. Like, I hope that Don't Flop come back after next in line with like a proper, you know, quote unquote revival event where they throw the matches people want to get the pay per view. Put Slytherin, yeah. put Slytherin and Briggsy on it. Open the card with that battle. Like, have I, you probably got like three rounds for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, all written. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought you were like you were just. I didn't know you actually had like probably. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you you'd be like ready to battle if it was organised. I'd be ready to battle. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're, they're sort of written like in the sense where they're you know it's the amount of material for the minutes and they I've got all the bars together. Structurally, I need to kind of tighten it a little bit because I you know I haven't yeah. been in like game mode or whatever. But yeah, it's all written. I've showed Lazy Ass Jack lots of it and he's very impressed. So it's you know I, I and you know Lazy Ass Jack as well, someone I respect. And I said to him like you know here's the bars. Let me know exactly what you think. And yeah, he liked it. I've, I don't. I, part of me wants to just quote them, but obviously I can't get into <laughs> it. But um, yeah, I, I go into a lot of stuff actually, and I've I've got kind of each round is sort of about something, so I've got quite direct bars. Mm. But um, I'd, I, I'd I'd love us to battle. Just also, I want to hear what Briggsy says. Like it'd be funny. It probably just maybe get what thirteen bars, and then I mean, it, it, like just silence. His his choking <laughs> record is astonishingly bad. Like, it's really shameful for a staff member as well. Like, he has flubbed a lot. Especially, like, the last year or so when he's proper representing Don't Flop. The man's a mess. I'm making jokes, but I actually quite like Briggs' battles, to be honest with you. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, it was good versus villain. The battle, his recent battles where he doesn't choke, like, he loses most of them, but he's it's still, it's watchable, isn't it? In the same Where's way, in the same way a car crash is. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just think his writing's uninspired. I, I watch battles to, to see things that I've not heard before, to be engaged with, to have delivery. And I just think a lot of his stuff is redundant and cliched. Um, there's not one Briggsy bar that I've heard that I've liked. He's maybe a little generic, but like, not even like the... the cl- he's, I think he's better at clowning than he is at actual bar stuff. Oh, he, like sucks, the... he sucks at barring. Have you seen him versus Mixie, by the way? Uh, I probably have, but oh, I don't, man. I don't oh, remember man. it being exceptional in any way. No, 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 no. Mixie bodies him. Mixie nails it. He just nails how bland he is and sort of goes in on his crew as well. And it's just... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm talking up the fight slightly, of course, but this has been going on too long now, and, you know, we need to battle Briggsy. But, Ben, we're here to talk about you, of course. Um, <laughs> and um, you have a podcast, right? The Parked Podcast. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not really... Ed and special. My brother and me did it for like seven episodes, and it's not had an episode for about three months. Oh, it's right. pretty much dead, to be honest. <laughs> are you are you not like? Uh, I mean, are, do you not want to start your own podcast? Like, with, it's same way with UK battle rap scene. We need UK battle rap podcast, man. Yeah, so it's a pretty niche market. You're covering it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Well, yeah, sarcasm city and um, yeah. crooks and clashes as well. So you know, there's a few com- coming up. Yeah, but nothing, nothing, nothing too much. So um. 
wrap up nothing uh, rival battle rap resume of no, course I mean, no i mean <laughs> nothing, nothing on that level no. i mean i actually um on crooks and clashes i sent hulk uh he requested it a uh, battle resume mug that's going to be sort of on the table now so oh yeah yeah so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he had, well he requested a shot glass because i did say we had shot glasses but i i, I misremembered we, red bubble i should say don't have shot glasses but a mug is going to be on his table but but yeah i mean you know the, 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 was danny jack not at Eddie on Da- Danny Jack, what's sorry? Oh, wow, wow. Um, yeah, he has been on. <laughs> Shout out Danny Jack, even though he uh, he co-signed Sarcasm City's impression of me, but it's all good, it's all good. Uh, it was quite a good impression. But um, So we'll wrap up, as I always do, a few quick-fire questions. Your your favourite Don't Flop battle? Uh, uh, either Soul V Most Prob, mm. uh, Tony V Raptor, or... Nah, one of them, one of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, good battle. Yeah, Tony V. Raptor's great. I, I mean, Raptor yeah. won, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's the hunger in it. It's not, yeah. that's, I think after he got the title shot and he lost it, that's kind of what changed. He didn't really have the hunger. You can see it against Cannon and Pass and Tony when he really wanted it, but he's kind of lost that now, isn't he? It's just yeah. not as good as he used to be. Yeah, 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 he has. Um, I, yeah, um, I just I, I agree with the hunger, but I just think Raptor's writing's really strong in that battle as well. Yeah. Like really, like like you know, he he wrote his ass off for that, and he's you know, what about King of the Dot? Uh, I, I maybe prefer the uh, Joe Nine Psychosis. I think that's a really good one. Uh, mm. Pesci and Bender versus Twist and Rich. I think that's a good one as well. The mm. uh, Doctor Robert Oppenheimer mm-hmm, uh, round, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. one of the one of my favorite two v two rounds out. Mm-hmm, so yeah, mm-hmm. what probably one of them. And um, I know it's not the Battle of Joe, but do you have a favourite URL battle? Uh, nah, I have a couple that I like, but not a single favourite. I like a lot of Big T battles, just because mm. I like his energy and stuff. So maybe a Big T battle. Yeah. Have you watched Chiller JC? I've watched it, yeah, but I, again, I don't, I don't get a lot of what they're saying. I don't, I'd, I'd be curious to know because I mean, you seem quite, you know, culturally aware. I'd be curious to what you don't get because I'm trying to think what in that battle because it's mostly just like instruments and countries, less than mm. like you know. I can't, I can't even think of a bar from it. To be um, oh, can, heavy arm like Precious. That's one of JC, JC's um, in in the first, but um, I don't get that. What, what, yeah, heavily armed and uh, precious. Have you seen the film Precious? The, 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 no, that's not that. No, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> regardless, look, there you I mean, go. <laughs> yeah, stick to UK. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we tried, we tried. Um, but uh, Ben, this has been great, man. I mean, um, how can people get at you? Are, are drill craving still uploading videos or? Uh, nah, nah, no. not really. No, no, you can no. add me as a friend on Facebook. I've got about six of them. But apart from that, nothing <laughs> uh, really. And of course, viewpoint as well. You know, people can, yeah, uh, yeah. People can get in contact with you there. But um, this has been great, man. Thank you for coming on, bro. Hey, Matt, cheers for having me.